Hi guys, this is Dr. Pritesh Singh, your NEET SS Surgery Faculty. Hope you did well in the NEET SS Surgery exam. So this is a quick exam analysis and quick recall of the questions. If you see the difficulty level of this question paper, it was pretty difficult if you compare it from the previous paper, means from the paper of 2022. It was pretty difficult, but if you see the paper per se, the difficulty level was moderate and the paper was based not on a single textbook, mainly the questions were based on Sabiston, Schwartz, Bailey and even some GI surgery questions were from Shackleford also. There were approximately 15 to 20 questions in which the language of question was not very clear. It means what examiner wanted to know it was not very clear and even options were very ambiguous. Only 15 to 20 questions were there like this. Rest of the paper was pretty okay. So if you see the GIT, in GIT there was one question related to transhital esophagectomy. It was related to compli complications. There was one question related to synchronous colon cancer in which, in which there was one malignancy in rectum also. Lumbar hernia, GERD, GIST, ingest, benign lesion criteria was asked. There was one question related to mesentic cyst in which the wall was thickened and management was asked. Description of peritonitis was given in one question. The mutation was asked for hereditary gastric cancer. There was one description of a patient of ulcerative colitis in which there were multiple strictures involving both intrahepatic as well as extrahepatic bile duct. So obviously it is ulcerative colitis with primary sclerosing cholangitis. If a patient is having ulcerative colitis with severe dysplasia, what should be done? So it's an indication for surgery. There was an image of Roux and Y gastric bypass. One question was related to psoriasis. There was one question related to sessile serrated adenoma pathway. NSAIDs are preventive for which malignancy? So you know it is preventive for colon cancer. Limburg's flap, Karidaki's flap, Bascom procedure. This is related to pylonidal sinus. HNPCC, in relation to HNPCC, they asked extra intestinal malignancy. So it is endometrial, gastric and ovarian. HNPCC prophylactic colectomy, there was one question related to prophylactic colectomy. In gastric outlet obstruction, fluid management was asked. And one question was related to gastrectomy, that in D2 gastrectomy, which lymph node stations are removed. Now see the hepatobiliary pancreatic surgery. There was triple phase CT in which there was arterial hypervascularization with venous washout. And obviously the diagnosis is HCC. Warren shunt related question was there. There was one question in a patient who was unstable, elderly and acute cholecystitis. Patient was having acute cholecystitis. What should be the management? Patient was having malignancy also. Tokyo guidelines for acute cholecystitis. This was asked. Surgical procedure for chronic pancreatitis. The, it was asked. Vigorous procedure, phrase procedure. These were the options. There was one question related to pseudocyst treatment. That the treatment decision will be based on location of pseudocyst in relation to the stomach, duodenum or jejunum. There was one question related to pancreatitis in which patient was having fever. So most probably it was infected pancreatic necrosis. There was one question related to IPMN in which there was fish mouth opening and Ohashi triad was asked. Hemobilia related question was there and cholidocalcis type 2 related question was there in hepatobiliary pancreatic surgery. In urology, there was TNMS staging. You know that TNMS staging, it is used for testicular tumor. S for serum markers, in which we include alpha fetoprotein, beta HCG and LDH. In a three years old child, there was varicocele. So what you suspect, obviously we suspect the tumor. Which one? Wilms tumor. Blue dot sign, testicular appendages, torsion, torsion of testicular appendages. Bell clappers deformity. So you know that this is related to testicular torsion. Congenital hydrocele related question was there. There was one IVP question. IVP, there was one question of bilateral urethrocele. IVP image was there. So adder head or cobra head appearance. There was cross renal ectopia related question. One question was related to undescended testis. Patient was having recurrent infections after Anderson Heinz pyeloplasty. So one question was related to Anderson Heinz pyeloplasty. And if a patient is having metastatic prostatic cancer, what should be used in the management?
pretty good number of questions were there from surgical oncology also paraneoplastic syndrome related to bronchogenic carcinoma was asked which dye is used in sentinel lymph node biopsy there was one question related to breast cancer in pregnancy which anti diabetic anti cancer medication is used to metformin it is protective for carcinoma colon leaf fromini syndrome criteria was asked there was malignant melanoma diagnosis a patient was having ulcer on the foot and it was black colored so diagnosis was asked whether we will go for incisional biopsy or excisional biopsy there was one question related to carotid body tumor one patient was having squamous cell carcinoma of oral cavity patient was e dentulous male with involvement of mandible by malignancy what's the management there was squamous cell carcinoma of right parotid management was asked what is the definition of protoncogen this was one question lapatinib was asked this is favorite question for examiners nowadays because it's a dual tyrosine kinase inhibitor and you know lapatinib is second line agent for her to new positive breast cancer the first line agent obviously it is trastuzumab that is also known as herceptin then a patient was having 4 into 4 cm breast lump with palpable lymph node but lymph node was negative on fnsc there was diffuse microcalcification so we should go for breast conservation surgery mrm mrm along with chemotherapy so in this case we should go for mrm what is the definition of solitary thyroid nodule and there was one question related to nipple or skin sparing mastectomy so there was overlap of questions between surgical oncology and endocrine surgery so i signs were given related to hyperthyroidism or thyrotoxicosis there was one question related to goiter in females there were two questions related to hyperparathyroidism it was based on the location parathyroid adenoma men syndrome was asked in this paper there were three four questions related to men one was what is the age of prophylactic thyroidectomy in men and mucosal neuromas are seen in men 3 there was one question related to total thyroidectomy what is the most common complication question was related to pheochromocytoma also what is the antibody in chronic lymphocytic thyroiditis that is anti tpo and suppose patient is taking anti thyroid drugs started having sore throat and fever what is this complication this is a granulocytosis in ctvs also pretty good number of questions were there so critical limb ischemia related question was there ankle and toe pressure was asked abdominal aortic aneurysm repair related question was there a patient who was an elderly male with gangrenous ulcer which investigation should be done ct angio for cabg which graft is having longer patency rate so you know that arterial grafts are having longer patency rate so it is lima left internal mammary artery mitral stenosis related management was asked suppose a patient is having triple vessel disease so what should be the management cabg what's the name of dye used in mr lymphangiography reverse three sign of reverse three sign on chest x ray it is seen in coarctation of aorta and if it is seen on barium study it is seen in reverse three sign of frostberg it is seen in carcinoma head of pancreas why right lung abscess is more common because it's more in line with trachea and varicose vein management related question was asked in which we go for radio frequency ablation endovenous laser ablation and you know that nowadays endothermal ablation is gold standard in pediatric surgery there were there were questions related to hirschsprung's disease here it kadina in pediatric surgery there were questions related to hirschsprung's disease lats procedure what should be the location of small bowel and large bowel duodenal atresia related question was there double bubble appearance annular pancreas related question management so in duodenal atresia you know that we go for duodeno duodenostomy what is the management of umbilical hernia in a 10 years old child biliary atresia related question and if a patient is having sternocleidomastoid tumor what's the management usually we go for physiotherapy the questions which are asked in neurosurgery it was related to spinal dysraphism csf leak patient we have to rule out whether sdh or patient is suffering from subarachnoid hemorrhage or edh patient is having gaze paresis so one question was related to gaze paresis what should be the management of a tumor if a patient is having tumor in pineal gland so pineal gland tumor management and genetic mutation was asked related to pilocytic astrocytoma in neurosurgery
if you see plastic surgery there was one question related to facial malformation only one side image was given not the face was not properly visible breast flap related question was there skin grafting related question was there imbibition inosculation revascularization a question was related to this and one question was related to split thickness and full thickness skin grafting embryology of cleft lip was asked that how lip develops post free flap surgery related question was there and one question was related to rubens flap that it is based on which artery deep circumflex iliac artery burn management in children was asked and there was one question related to iliac crest graft pretty good number of questions were there from trauma there was one question related to gunshot wound needle insertion according to latest guidelines in tension pneumothorax that is fifth intercostal space in anterior axillary line so far score was asked liver trauma with ivc injury was there management was asked abdominal compartment syndrome where we are supposed to measure the pressure so obviously we are supposed to measure the pressure in bladder it's the intravesical pressure trauma of left side of trunk and chest was there management was asked patient was having pericardial tamponade bex triad was mentioned so one question related to pericardial tamponade a patient was having active bleeding in splenic trauma so they asked the definition of active bleeding in splenic trauma damage control resuscitation was asked carotid artery injury related question was there and one question was there that patient is having open chest wound what should be done so obviously we should go for three sided strapping in transplantation there was one question most important hla for transplantation that is hla dr kidney donor criteria was asked liver transplantation related questions were there contraindications absolute and relative and there was one question related to cardiac transplantation the miscellaneous questions were related to anesthesia and other subjects eras protocol liquid biopsy long acting anesthetic and biostats related questions were there there were six questions approximately related to biostats in which mainly the questions were asked related to measures of central tendency so guys this is a quick recall i hope that you did well in the exam and all the best for the results Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Prep Ladder.